Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Why was Mansur al Halaj saying Ana al Haq and even the ashes from his body were saying this? It is very confusing to me and maybe it needs a high level of faith to understand. I cannot completely express myself and my inner question. Please forgive my fault and I eagerly await your answer. I'm trying to remember a sohbet that Shaykh Effendi gave about Mansur al Halaj. Not trying to remember the books I've read or what other people are saying or what professor is saying or this. I'm uh, trying to remember. Everything has to be filtered according to my Shaykh. You're following a Shaykh, you're following the Prophet, you're following Islam, everything has to be filtered through that. Don't take your own ideas. So he said the truth because he was at the level where he wasn't Mansur anymore. He by himself he has finished. He is not making that claim for himself. People are misunderstanding because they want to misunderstand. It's a long story how he reached to that point, but he was warned. Take it back. <coughs> Imam Shibli, others who were also high-level sayings that they were there in understanding that Marifat say is confusing to people. Take it back. He says, I cannot. I cannot. Why? <sighs> because he has to fulfill his shaykh's wishes. And saying, then we have to change our shawwar from the shawwar of shariat, shawwar of tariqat, understanding what you are from tariqat level to shawwal shariat where we have to judge you according to what is right and wrong according to shariat so he had to walk to his place of execution they were throwing rocks at him throwing all kinds of things at him he did not move he did not blame the people he wasn't filled with hatred. People didn't understand. He was walking to his destiny. Now understand how some people are claiming Hazrat Hussein hated. Or oh, Hazrat Fatima hated. The grandchildren, children of the Prophet. And this Mansur al-Halaj, when he was walking, they were throwing. It was hurting him. He didn't move. He didn't say anything. Forgave them. Because they say they don't understand. But one saint took a rose and threw it at him. And it hit him and he started crying. He cried because he said, that one understands me. And I understand him. They hung him to silence him from saying, I am the truth. He kept on saying it. They cut up his body. Each part that was cut up, they were hearing it. He was saying, I am the truth. They burn him in the ashes for saying all, I am the truth. You cannot destroy truth. More you try to cover it, more it's going to multiply. These are the miracles that happened to that one. To show that whatever he is speaking and whatever that he is saying, it is not 
battle it is hack is correct and it is a sign to show that now his words is not just words it's not the tongue making noise it is a reality that is in every single cell of his body because every single cell in our body is remembering Allah and is making zikrullah now your heart if you listen to it properly it says 24 hours never stopping who So Allah is showing miracles through His beloved ones to show how special they are and how beloved they are and that their maqam is something that normal people cannot understand so don't judge them He wanted his Shaykh's truth to become alive. He had to go through it. Yes. Tried to interfere because he loved his Shaykh so much. He interfered. The Shaykh was not too happy saying that one day you will tell the truth and people are not going to believe you. He says, then I must make that to be real. This is, we are filled with uh, dirtiness. The one who is not sincere, then he will lie all the time. The one who is not sincere, he will lie without even knowing that he's lying to blind the one whose heart is open he will only see the truth he will speak the truth and he's not fearing anything we're all in kindergarten level trying to be honest trying to be sincere taking baby steps it's okay we're not here claiming anything claiming to be anything wanting to be. Run away from those ones. We are happy to be the dust and our Shaykh's feet. That's all. Inshallah. As much as enough. Wa min Allahu tafiq al fatiha Assalamu alaikum. I will see you tomorrow, inshallah. Allah gives us life.